Today we will be talking about compound events and their probability. So what a compound event is, is when multiple things happen at the same time and we're trying to figure out what the probability of a certain outcome is based on those multiple events. So just a reminder that the probability of an event happening is the number of ways it can be a success over the total number of outcomes. So if we flip the coin, we know that the probability of getting heads, there's one chance out of two possibilities, one half. Just like if we were doing a spinner or grabbing marbles out of a bag. So what we are going to do is sometimes we have we want to figure out the probability of, a, of multiple things happening at the same time. So what I want to do, I have three scenarios, a coin flip, a spinner with three possible outcomes, and grabbing into a bag uh, for marbles, there are three possible outcomes. I want to know what is the possibility of me getting, flipping a tail, getting a red spinner, and choosing the orange marble. Okay, so we're gonna start isolating all of these things. So we have, we're first gonna flip that coin. What are our two outcomes? Either heads or tails. So heads and tails. Now, in our spinner, we have one of three possibilities. You get to get a red, green, or brown. So if I flip the head and then did my spinner, I could go red, green, or brown. If I flip the tail, I can also get a red, a green, and a brown. So now what I'm going to do, I just flipped my coin, I spun my spinner, and now I am going to grab a marble out of a bag. I can either get black, pink, or orange. Now I can do that no matter what I get over here, I can still have this. So I am going to say I can have pink orange, and black if I get red. Okay. I can do pink, orange, and black if I get green. If I have a brown spinner, I can do pink, orange, and black. So let me draw some lines so you can start to see. If I had a head on my coin, I can do red, green, or brown on my spinner. So if I get a head and a red, I can do pink, orange, and black. If I get green, pink, orange, and black. If I get brown, pink, orange, and black. I can do the same thing now. If I did tails, I can still do red, green, brown, and then I can do pink, orange, and black for here. And then I can do pink, orange, and black for here. And then pink, orange, and black for here. All right, so now let's find where my tails, red, and orange is. So it is right here here's tails red and orange that is the only way this one scenario right here is the only way that i can get this to be a success so my probability of tails red and orange is i only have one chance for a success how many individual things could I have? Well, if I count everything here, one, two, three, four, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I go down to here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's a total of 18 outcomes. Each one of these branches is an outcome. So how could we do this without actually drawing this? Let's think about it. The probability of getting a head, or I'm sorry, the probability of getting a tail is one half. You have one chance out of two possibilities. The probability of us getting red on the spinner, there is one chance out of three. And the probability of getting an orange marble, there are three marbles, so I get one out of three. Now let's look at this. We've got one half, one third, and one third. Can we see how these three fractions might relate to this? Some of you may have just realized what how these fractions can get to this. That is if we multiply them all together. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 is 18. So to find the probability of a compound event, multiple things happening, we take the individual probabilities and multiply them together. And that is a compound event.